The human brain contains roughly 86 billion neurons with 100 trillion connections, run on 20 watts of power, and can seamlessly transition from quantum physics to poetry to cooking dinner. The quest for artificial general intelligence, AGI, isn't just another engineering problem, it's an attempt to recreate the most sophisticated information processing system known to exist, our brains. And despite what you might have heard, we are decoding its blueprint faster than anyone expected. Today, we're taking a technical deep dive into AGI, what it is, how it differs from AI systems that we use today, and the remarkable progress that is being made towards creating it. Now, before we explore AGI, let's establish what it is and where it fits in the broader AI landscape that we know. Now, when we talk about AI today, we are typically referring to narrow AI systems, specialized tools that are designed for specific tasks, Think of ChatGPT for text generation, Tesla's Autopilot for driving, or AlphaFold for protein structure prediction. These systems excel within their predefined domains, but lack what we humans take for granted, cognitive flexibility across diverse challenges. This is where AGI comes in. AGI represents AI that can match human versatility, systems capable of learning and applying knowledge across entirely different domains without explicit reprogramming or retraining. Now, artificial superintelligence is a speculative tier surpassing human intelligence across all domains, potentially solving problems like climate change or disease eradication throughout the ultra rapid innovation. To understand what makes AGI different, consider this example. Today's best LLMs like GPT-4 can write poetry, generate code, and even debug programs. But they can't autonomously design a physics experiment, interpret the results, and adjust their hypotheses, something routine for human researchers. This fundamental limitation exists because Current AI lacks several key components essential to human-like intelligence. Let's look at the technical foundations of what AGI would require. Current AI relies heavily on deep learning, but AGI demands hybrid architectures integrating at least three critical components. First, symbolic reasoning the ability to manipulate abstract concepts and infer causality, not just correlation. Second, neural networks, which we already have for pattern recognition on, but need to evolve further. And third is the world models, detailed simulations of physical and conceptual environments that allow prediction and planning. Google's Genie 2 demonstrates incremental progress here. Trained on video data, it can generate interactive 3D environments from text prompts showing rudimentary understanding of physics and object performance. When prompted with a robot repairing a satellite, it simulates orbital mechanics, tools, interactions, and even error recovery scenarios, a small step towards AGI capabilities. Now, another promising approach is what Georgia Tech researchers call fractal representation, where intelligence emerges from self-similar patterns across different scales. Think of a chess AI. At the micro level, it recognizes piece movements, like Rook's linear path. At the meso level, it identifies strategic motives, like fork attacks. But an AGI could take this further. At the macro level, it might generalize chess strategies to completely unrelated domains, like optimizing traffic flow using chess-like prioritization on principles. This mirrors human intelligence, where knowledge transfers between domains like 
how Velcro was inspired by burrs in nature or how neural networks were modeled on biological brains. So where are we on this journey to AGI? Well, Google DeepMind offers a useful framework classifying AI into five levels. The first level is emerging. It represents the systems that outperform 10% of adults on limited tasks. This includes current LLMs like GPT-4 and Llama 3. Competent systems surpass 50% of humans on broad non-physical tasks. Alpha Geometry and Gemini Ultra approach this threshold in some domains. Expert systems exceed 90% of humans in specialized domains. IBM Watson winning Jeopardy is an example of that. Virtuoso would outperform 99% of humans across multiple fields. We have no examples here yet. And finally, superhuman systems would surpass all humans in all tasks. And this ventures into the theoretical ASI territory. Most experts place our current systems between the emerging and competent levels. Alpha geometry can solve Olympic level math problems, but cannot contextualize solutions in real world engineering scenarios. AGI development follows what researchers call chinchilla scaling laws, where performance improves predictability with three key factors. First, training data, where a 10x increase yields roughly 25% capability improvement. Second is model parameters, where a 10x more parameters drive about 37% better results. And third is compute budget, where 10x more compute power delivers approximately 42% capacity gains. But we know that there are significant hardware constraints. Now, training GPT-4 required approximately 25,000 NVIDIA 800 GPUs. To achieve human-level AGI, we might need extra flop scale systems, roughly 100 times our current capacity. Now, beyond raw compute power, AGI faces several core technical challenges. First is the persistent problem of hallucinations, where AI generates plausible but false information. In AGI context, this manifests as causal misattribution, mistaking correlation for causation, like associating vaccine timing with unrelated conditions, and goal misgeneralization, optimizing for proxy metrics over true objectives, like maximizing user engagement by promoting outrage rather than providing value. Now, researchers are exploring mitigation strategies like chain of thought verification, where AI explains its reasoning steps for human validation. Another critical challenge involves memory systems. Now, humans combine episodic memory, personal experiences with semantic memory, which is factual knowledge. Current AI lacks truly integrated memory. Meta's memory networks attempt this by storing task-specific embeddings, but they cannot generalize across domains. For instance, a system trained on legal documents can't apply precedence to medical ethics question, something humans do naturally, right? Perhaps the most fundamental challenge is the embodied cognition gap. Human intelligence evolved through sensory motor interaction with the physical world. Disembodied AI lacks just that, right? Understanding that spatial relationship and tool embodiment, the intuitive use of instruments. Projects like Tesla's Optimus and Boston Dynamics Atlas aim to bridge this gap via a robotic platform but their AI still relies on pre-programmed motion primitives rather than adaptive problem solving. Even if we solve these technical challenges, we face the problem of alignment, ensuring AGI safety and ethical behavior, a huge topic. This breaks down into outer alignment, which is defining correct objectives like 
maximize human welfare, and inner alignment, which is ensuring system internals robustly peruse those objectives. The risks are substantial. Uh, misaligned AGI optimizing for healthcare efficiency might ration care to only treat easily curable patients. Technically fulfilling the objective, but violating ethical intent. Companies like Anthropic are developing techniques like constitutional AI, training models against ethical guidelines. But these approaches remain brittle under novel edge cases. They haven't been tested against the full spectrum of real-world complexity. So when might we achieve AGI? Well, expert opinions vary dramatically. Optimistic views like those of Sam Altman in 2023 suggest AGI might be achievable via scaled up transformers plus reinforcement learning within just a few years. Pessimistic perspective like those in 2024 Forbes analysis argue fundamental barriers around embodiment and consciousness make AGI effectively impossible. The median forecast from researchers like Joshua Bengio estimates a 50% probability by 2040, contingent on breakthroughs in neurosymbolic integration. Compute roadmaps project that we might see 100x GPU-4 capacity by 2025 via 3 nanometer chip fabrication and 1000x by 2030 through photonic computing and 3D stacking. Now, in conclusion, AGI development hinges on solving trilemma of scalability, safety, and embodiment. While today's AI has demonstrated emergent capabilities like code synthesis with multimodal reasoning, replicating human-like generalization really requires that paradigm shift in architecture and training that we talked about in this video. The coming decade will likely see the hybrid systems combining neural networks, the symbolic engines, and then the robotic platforms, inching us towards AGI one module at a time. Whether AGI arrives in five years or 50, the journey itself is transforming our understanding of intelligence, both artificial and human. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more technical deep dives like this. Drop your thoughts about AGI in the comments below.